My name is Benjamin Murphy, and I got my liberal arts uh, bachelor's degree here at Antioch University. And I proceeded to go on and get the master's in clinical psychology um, and just recently finished. And what am I doing today? I, um, I'm working at Santa Barbara City College. I'm working as an alcohol and drug counselor there and also have a broader scope of practice. Recently, since I finished my master's degree, they brought into my scope of practice, which was great, and I uh, got a faculty position over there right as soon as I finished graduation, so that was nice. One thing I really noticed about doing the master's program was that I didn't feel like I was, um, like I was out of my league. When I started you know, sitting in on group supervisions with a bunch of marriage and family therapists, when I started sitting um, in on meetings with therapists I had heard of, you know, you, you know, I've heard of Peter McGoey or I've heard of um, you know, other clinicians in town that were kind of had the buzz about them, I found myself there and I knew what they were talking about. You know? And so I felt really well prepared for my practicum, felt really well prepared for my traineeship. And apparently my work thought I was well prepared too because they gave me a faculty position. When I first came here, I, I didn't feel like I was smart enough to be here, right? I, well, I think what it was was that being a college grad was not in alignment with my uh, self-perception, right? And so that was old thinking. That was old stuff that I needed to work out, that, that could be worked out potentially, right? So being here and raising my hand and teachers calling on me, teachers asking me how I was doing, saying that I was making a good point. That's a good point, you're doing that. Tell, being told that I was smart, you know. Wow, you're really good at that. Have you looked into this? I um, was like, maybe I am smart. <laughs> and my confidence just began to build. My confidence just began to build. And now I know I'm smart. You know, I know I'm capable. You know, I, I look for challenges now. You know, if I don't know how to do something, I know I can do it. I just know that I haven't learned it yet. So when people tell me, like, I can't do, I tell that to my clients now too. They say, I can't do, I really can't do that. You know, be careful with that word, right? Because I used to say that a lot. And now when I don't know something, I just say, I know I can do that. I just haven't learned it yet. So I need to learn it, then I can do it. And that transformation happened here during my undergraduate. By the time I was being encouraged to go for my master's degree, now we're talking master's degree. Wow, I'm gonna be like a hot shot, right? And, and, and it was a good feeling, and I was encouraged to go, and, and, I, and I decided to go, and then I got accepted into the program, and then my self-esteem was really feeling healthy, not in an arrogant way, not in a cocky way, in a, in a way that I really felt proud of myself. 